got to keep it on the road. Keep it between the ditches. Like my buddy Everett tell me. Keep it between the ditches. Right. Boom. You got to keep that thing. Hey, you got to keep it in the, keep it on your side. You don't want to clap no mirrors out here. I would hate to clap mirrors with somebody. <laughs> my dog Jimmy Huff told me that a long time ago. Because he was coming... I was leaving out, he was coming in. And he, he was like, yeah, we almost clapped mirrors. Yeah, you gotta be careful out here. Caution, new speed. Hey, don't mind that GPS. Right there on the right, Tennessee Steel Hawks. See it, TSH. As soon as we go past this little tree line right here, on the right, you're gonna see Boyle Brothers. Right there, boom, boy brothers. Right there. You wanna park overnight? That's where I would park at, right there. There's plenty of plenty of open areas. Here we go. New core steel, Hartford County. Grow the core, expand beyond, live our culture. Right here to the right. This is where you come out of the scale. Come out of the scale right there on the right. Yeah, you can, I don't see why you couldn't park over there. guy gonna tell me and when you get loaded at new core or board they give you a paper with a stamp on it it got a blue stamp when you come through this guard shack you gotta show it to the guard you ain't all you gotta do is hold it up to the to the window so they can see the stamp when they see the stamp they open the gate and let you in and you just pull up go all the way around and then you go across the scale go across the scale get your paperwork now here we go this is what I gotta do something different Hey, hey, pretty good. Uh, you're supposed to be getting loaded at the mill. At New. Is that what it says in your notes? Yeah, picking up for um, uh, barge loads for Edenton. Edenton? Yes, sir. He's checking now. Uh, let me let me check my information. Hey, all I got says pick up a blasted barge load. That's all you have? Yeah, I don't have any numbers. Oh, first time. Truck hey, don't you hate when you go somewhere and nobody's on the same page? something new <laughs> yeah that guy had to call like three people on the radio till they figured it out and my dispatcher told me last week she was like you're not going to have a pickup number just tell them that you're picking up bars loads for Edenton so that's all I had that was my pickup number so the guy just told me I might not go through the scale when I leave but stop at his gate instead of the scale but I don't know I guess they'll tell me when I get loaded I'm gonna have to put on a uh, put on a sweatshirt when I get out, cause it's, uh, it's pretty chilly out there. Let me pull on up. You see that sign said blasting paint. Let me get my tail up here. Driver stop. Check with blasting paint prior to entering building. Radio channel 8B. I'm just gonna 
Oh, he's, he's telling me to come on in. Hey, this what y'all like to see? Especially y'all non-truckers. Y'all like to see the transportation and industrial industry. All the way up. Guy. I was looking for somebody. Somebody tell me when to stop. Let me get out and get this done. It's
motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Time is money, baby. Time is money. Time is money. Time is money. Six straps, six straps and go. We ain't got time for nothing else. So it's 52 miles away. So it's 52 miles there, 52 miles back. Let me figure out how to get out. Uh oh, speed limit 10. Let me slow down. They got a damn radar up there. How do I get out of here? All trucks. I if I can turn this way. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come this way. So when I go back, well, when I come back here, I see I got to use two pieces of dunnage on top of each other instead of one. I was like, he should have told me, but he forgot. Because this is my first time. He assumed I've been here before. Nobody, nobody on the golf cart stopped me. I tell you what, man. If y'all ever come out here to Cofield, hey, don't expect to have no phone service. Don't expect no phone service. You ain't gonna get it. When I get up here to the to this gate, I gotta stop. I'm not sure what that guy wanted, but he told me to stop on the way out. He had to get something. I'm not sure what he needed. I don't gotta cross the scale. All I gotta do is come back to the guard shack on the way out. I got a gate pass too. I wonder if it expired after today. Let me check these load notes while I'm sitting here. I need to see the directions. Make right onto Dow Plant Road on the left. Yeah, once I get up here outside this gate, I need to pull over and write some stuff down because I'm getting behind on my paperwork. Definitely getting behind on it. What's up, man? Yeah, they said I didn't have to scale out. Okay. Let me pull over to the side real quick and get adjusted before we uh head on down this highway. Pull over here to the side real quick. I'm glad I did pull over. My headset was in the back of the truck. I need my headset. Let's get on down the road, man. See how this is gonna go. Back in the country. Back in the country. I got four miles. Four miles to Dye Plant Road. Actually, I got 3.4 miles of Dapland Road, four miles total to this uh, receiver. Moving at a pretty fast pace. I've been scoping out a few spots I can park at. If I end up in the same area tonight, if I can't make it back for my last delivery, I scoped out a few spots that I can park at. One of them was a duck through. That's the name of it, if y'all don't know. Duck through. 
it's like a little small truck stop. They sell fried chicken. I seen one a little further back. I was actually hoping I could find like a Planet Fitness or something. That way I could be able to take a shower. But I didn't see a Planet Fitness. I seen three spots. Now only one of them was somewhere I wanted to stop at. And that was a duck through. Other spots I seen was just like dirt lots. But there weren't no stores around. I like to be somewhere close to civilization with bathrooms, microwaves, and coffee. Even if it ain't got a shower, if it just got like a regular bathroom that I can lock the door, I go in there and take a little wash up. You know how we do. When we can't get a can't get a shower. Take it back to the old school, wash rag and soap. You know how we do. Hey, speaking of duck throughs, there's one right here on the right. That's that's not one for trucks though. That's just a little gas station. Yeah, that's a small one. But even if I could park somewhere like if they had a big enough parking lot that I could park somewhere like that, I will park there. Yeah, I keep myself entertained at night. I don't need entertainment. I just need, like I said, coffee. I don't have an inverter in my truck. I got an older PNS truck. The newer PNS trucks, they come with inverters. For all those, those new students coming in now. They get inverters. I don't know if they get. I don't know if they get refrigerators. But I do know they get inverters. I got a little small refrigerator in my truck right now. But I don't need an inverter for it. I just use. It uses a cigarette lighter adapter. DC power. It gets pretty cold too. It's called an Apple Cool. Apple Cool something. I'll find y'all the link and I'll put it up there. I'll show it to you when I get a chance too. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop it in the comment. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put it in the first comment. I'm gonna pin it. That's what you call it. I'm gonna pin it to the first comment. Apple cool something. Here we go. This is my turn. my turn. I see a truck over there beside that country store. Oh wow. Could this be a store to, to spend the night? If I could park right here on the grass. I don't know about that store. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Road in 750 feet. Where to go in at? Look at that river out there. Look at that river. Head to 125 Dye Plan Road, Edenton, North Carolina, 27932, on the left. Is anybody in this garage shack? Check the guard shack. I ain't see nobody. But I tell you what I do see. I see a truck up there getting unloaded. Look at that river. That's what this load, that's what the load is called, blast barge load. So I guess they, they unload it, then they put it on the barge, I guess.
Look at all these beautiful things you get to see as a truck driver. All these beautiful, beautiful attractions. Look at this. Pure beauty. Look at this. Does any other YouTube trucker show y'all things like this? I don't think so. I don't think so, gang. Hey, who got the best YouTube channel on? Who got the best trucking channel on YouTube? Big Snow Trucker. Hey, drop the snowman in the drop the snowman in the comments. Hey, share this video with your buddies. Share this video. And drop me a snowman in the comments. Let me get out and unstrap this thing. Fast pace, fast pace, fast pace. Hey, we're right back out of here. I gotta go back and get another load. Come right back here again. <laughs> hey, I just pulled up my Snapchat. I took a Snapchat just now. The, the location said Chowan Beach. If anybody know where that's at, Edenton, North Carolina. It's a nice pier. It goes way out there too. All right, gang. Let me get back to the money. I'm going back, get another one. Guess what? Everything was going so good. It's coming back, getting in line, going back inside the building. I get here. You got to go to Tennessee Steel Haulers. This is what you got to deal with, Tennessee Steel Haulers. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five right there beside me. And I don't know how many is getting loaded. Damn you. So I can't go back inside the main building until after 12. And I got here at 11.48. And here I am, stuck in line. 